Hi students, coming to next topic that is synchronous data transfer. So we know that that the data uh, that is transferred in the computer in the form of synchronous or asynchronous. So a data transfer uh, in the transmitter to receiver or receiver to transmitter in the synchronous way or in the asynchronous way. So let us see what is a synchronous data transfer data transfer so synchronous data transfer is nothing but so synchronous you call it as a same time so at the same time the data will be transferred from transmitter to receiver so in this format a data transfer transmitter and the receiver so here you are having the transmitter and here is the receiver so a data will be transferred from transmitter to receiver devices or synchronized with the same clock pulse. So those are synchronized with same clock pulse. So this is the synchronous data transfer. So synchronous means at the same time it will be transferring. So tra from transmitter device to the receiver de device, the data will be transferred synchronously with the same clock pulse. A data is transmitted as a continuous streams. So as a continuous streams, it is transmitting. So one stream, another stream, another stream like continuously it is transmitting. Okay. So here the main thing here is uh, timing signals are important. The timing signals are used which are generated by interclock pulse. So the main here will be the timing signals will be used. Timing signals. Okay. So here the receiver counts number of bits sent and then resembles them into a byte of data. So here the what will be the transmitter will do. Uh, the transmitter is sending the data and the receiver will count how many bits the transmitter sent. Okay. Suppose it sends 8 bits. So it make it as 1 byte. So then the receiver will decide. Okay. 1 byte is over. Okay. So only uh, it indicates the receiver counts. Receiver counts. Number of bits sent by the trans uh, transmitter okay that resembles them into byte of a data here the timing must be very accurate in this type of transmissions as there are no control bits being sent so here we are not sending any control bits after each message each byte okay so we have to make uh, make sure that the timing must be accurate so the main important thing in the synchronous data transfer is timing. Timing must be accurate. Must be very accurate. Okay. So this is a faster method of data transmission when compared to asynchronous. So this is the faster, fastest method when compared to asynchronous. And here we don't have any start or start. Uh, start bit or stop bit we don't have any start bit and stop bit in synchronous transmission so whereas in asynchronous data transmission so uh, after completion of one byte it will indicate the start bit and the stop bit so start bit indicates the receiver side a uh, data is coming so after the completion of one byte it indicates with the stop bit Okay, so that is the difference in asynchronous and synchronous. In the synchronous, we don't require any start bit and stop bit. So the receiver itself counts the number of bits sent by the transmitter. So after uh, that resembles them into byte of a data. Okay, so here you can uh, see that the sender is sending the data. How? Uh, so this is the sender. And here you are having the receiver. Okay. So here data will be flow in this direction. Data flow. It's a direction flow. You can take direction flow. Okay. So how the data uh, bits will be sending from here to here. So 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 1, 1, 1, 0. So this is 1 byte is over. So like that. So after the completion of uh, 
8 bits the receiver resembles that it is 8 bit is over so again you taking another 8 bits so it indicates 1 bit uh, sorry 1 byte 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 so like that 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 so it indicates total 8 bits 8 bits 8 bits so it receiving the data so after the completion of 8 bits it resembles that uh, it counts the number of bits sent by the sender and it will make it as a uh, one byte okay so this is the data here is sending synchronously the main thing you have to be noted that you have to note that not in synchronous in synchronous transmission we send we send bits one after another one after another without start or stop bits so main thing you have to be noted we send bits one after the other one after the other without start or stop bits or gaps so there will be no gaps in between the messages so between each byte you don't have any gaps so it is responsible it is responsibility of receiver to group the bits okay so this you have to be noted in synchronous data transmission in synchronous transmission we send bits one after the other one after the another without start or stop bits and it is also the responsibility of the receiver to group the bits okay so that is the main responsibility of the receiver so this is synchronous data transmission let us see uh, what is asynchronous so i already said asynchronous is nothing but if you take the asynchronous data transmission uh, it is regular in regular intervals so here the synchronous means it synchronous is nothing but same time okay whereas in is asynchronous data transmission it will be regular intervals so here in asynchronous transmission we send one start bit uh, one start bit indicates zero at beginning and one stop bit which indicates one at end of each byte okay so in asynchronous i am saying that my uh, to indicate the difference between these two actually we are the top here the topic is a synchronous data transmission so we are sending the data synchronously with the help of the time signal so timing must be very accurate in the synchronous data transmission so if you know the difference between the synchronous and asynchronous it will be clear for you so in synchronous data transmission the bits will be sent one after other without start bit whereas in asynchronous data transmission compulsory start bit and stop bit should be there at end of each byte so at the end of each byte one start and stop bits will be there okay and there may be a gap here uh, gap should not be there without gaps okay it should not uh, no gaps has to be there in the synchronous data transmission whereas here in asynchronous gaps may be there okay how it will represent asynchronous so this is the uh, transmission of bit from sender to receiver here you, you have a stop bit and here the start bit data is flowing direction this direction flow direction flow and here this is the data one zero 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 one one zero zero okay so this is a eight bit data so after the completion of one byte it indicates with the start bit uh, a data will be one byte will be uh, transferred in between the start bit and the stop bit so start bit indicates the zero and the stop bit will indicates with the one so after completion of uh, this total eight nine ten bits uh, the receiver will understood okay one byte of data will be is over 
so it takes another byte of data that is in the asynchronous format here there is no uh, at the same time the data will not be transferred it may be a regular intervals of time okay. thank you